This is a demonstration of the Transmission Loss module, which is available as an in-app purchase in the Audio Tools iOS app from Studio 6 Digital. Transmission Loss is used to measure the effectiveness of a barrier to sound between two rooms. There are several different measurements that can be done based on different standards. In each case, the test is done by generating pink noise in one room, which is called the sending or source room, and comparing the levels between that room and those in the receiving or destination room. We have designed transmission loss to meet both U.S. and international standards, some of which are shown here. The internal iOS device microphone may be used for these tests, or use it with our iTest mic for Class 2 results, or our iPrecision mic for Class 1 performance. Note that it is possible to certify the entire device as a Class 1 instrument by sending iPrecision mic and your iOS device to an independent testing lab. Let's look at the settings for transmission loss. First, select your desired test results, STC, RW, DNTW, or OITC. Enter your room dimensions and insulating wall area if your test requires those. Turn on ambient noise correction if desired. If you turn on the automatic gain range control, the system will automatically select the mic high range in the sending room and the low range in the receiving room for you as you do the tests. In this example, we're going to perform a simple STC test, so we won't need ambient noise correction. We will start in the sending room. We have our pink noise source already set up to play at a fairly high volume level. We want the level to be high enough that ideally all of the one-third octaband levels from 63 to 4000 Hz are at least 10 dB above the ambient noise level in the receiving room. Reset the average and start the test running. Let it run long enough to get a stable reading. Now let's move to the receiving room, leaving the pink noise generator set up as it was. Run the same test here. Reset the average and start the test running, allowing enough time again for the levels to fully stabilize. Now we're ready to see the results. Just move to the results tab and the level difference curve is shown in green, the applicable reference curve in gray, and the calculated values are shown numerically. Now let's set up for an RW test. Just change the test type and let's turn on the switch for correcting ambient noise. Just as before, we'll start with the test in the send room with pink noise on, then move to the receive room with the pink noise on, and then we'll do one more test in the receive room, this time turning the pink noise off. This will be our ambient noise level test. Next, we will test the RT or reverb time in the receiving room. Tap the RT button to bring up the receiving room RT screen and then tap test RT. Tap the record button and wait for the countdown to reach zero. When it does, create a strong impulse of sound, such as by dropping a heavy book on the floor. Wait a few seconds after this sound and then tap the Done button to bring up the Receiving Room RT screen where you can see the RT third octave time. Tap Done to return to the results screen where you can see the plots and numeric values. Next, we will look at how the Save Recall system works with transmission loss. From the Send to Receive tab, you can store as many level tests for the room as you wish. When you recall a test, you can replace the current results with the stored test or average the recalled test into the current levels. This allows you to average any number of level tests for each room. The name of the most recently recalled room will appear on the results page. On the results tab, saving will store the current send, receive, and ambient levels, the current RT times, as well as the test results. When you recall from the results screens, all data on every screen is replaced by the stored results. Note that Dropbox and iCloud are supported here as they are in other audio tools modules to make file transfer to other devices or computers easy to do. This completes our demonstration for transmission loss by Studio 6 Digital.